Hey, what's up? This is Steve, Peak Physique. This is episode number 16 of Steve Says. Can't believe it's 16 episodes. That's four freaking months of doing these things every single week. I think pretty much not missing a week unless we're a band or something like that. Every week something seems to happen. We get banned or we get phone overheated or we get hacked from Russia or something. So we'll see what happens this week, see how smooth we can make this, see how quickly we can get through this. So last week, you know, was about the key word. The word of the week last week was persistence. This week, we're going to learn my own personal number one struggle in the gym and in life in general. I'm going to go over that with you. But it is also the same as my one secret superpower that I'm going to tell you all about and reveal that for the first time ever. We're also going to go over some upcoming events, a new trainer challenge that we have coming up, schedule changes, and we'll be answering all your questions and the case study and weight loss awards as usual. I'm going to try and answer you guys' question you're going. It's bright as hell out here and sunny, so I'll see if I could read it as we're going. But if you have any questions, post them in there. I'll try to answer them as we're going along. So first of all, it's going to go over some quick upcoming events. A lot of stuff you probably know about, but I'll just remind you. You know, there's always a ton of shit going on at Peak Physique. You know that I don't stop. I don't sleep. I don't even slow the fuck down. So there, there are too many people out there who are in need of our help for me to have time to stop and slow down and to, and to quit or even just take a step back or even just to sit still for a second. It's not going to happen. There's too many problems out there that need the peak solution that I guarantee we have. So going on right now, we have a referral contest. We have where you, where you can win that grill that's in the front of the gym, that barbecue grill for whoever refers to most people that join the 28-day challenge coming up, which starts on Monday. We have the six-week challenge finale party. That's Saturday, June 17th. Go into the details and all these in a second. And then Sunday, June 18th, we have a 28-day orientation and seminar on how to eat for weight loss. Monday, June 19th, starts a 28-day transformation challenge where you can win a professional photo shoot, massage, salon makeover. Friday, June 23rd is the final meeting for round two of the final meeting and workout for round two of the Game Changer program for those of you in the Game Changer. And then next weekend, the day and time and location will be determined. I'll announce it soon. We're going to be doing a grocery store tour. We're going to start on how to, how to shop for weight loss. We're going to start doing those grocery store tours once per month. Sometimes at the same tour, store, sometimes different stores each week. We're going to do one, one a month regardless if there's a challenge or whatever's going on. So first, the referral, referral contest going on. Whoever gets the most people to ju- just sign up for that 28-day challenge coming up, you're going to win that grill and a couple of prizes, some t-shirts, some supplements, stuff like that. So who do you know that would like amazing results just like you? Send your friends, your family, your coworkers to Peak Physique and we will take care of them. I promise you we'll take care of them. We'll treat them like family like you know that we do with everyone that comes to our doors. So I'm looking for more motivated, peak free clients just like you. And I figure the best place to start is in your inner circle of influence. So do you know anyone that could benefit from our services? Anyone that could maybe, you know, has a couple pounds to lose. Maybe a friend that's mentioned how awesome you look or they're interested in improving their health and fitness level just like you. Or a coworker who just is always telling you how, you know, skinny you look. They're probably a jealous bitch probably putting you down and talking shit. But bring that bitch on over. We'll hook her up. We'll make her a skinny bitch just like you. So, or even a family member that just needs that extra push to get started. Don't even tell them we sent them. I'll send them a, an email like I just came across them or something on Facebook. We didn't have to tell them you sent us. I had an email today from someone telling me that, but I won't talk about that. Anyway, here's a chance to help your friends, your family, your coworkers achieve their health, fitness, and weight loss goals. So here's how you can help. Just send me their name, their phone number, their email address, or they can call or text me directly, 845-893-6529. And we can set them up for a free consultation if we need to to see if they're going to be a good fit for the gym and for the program. We're just going to fly through some of this beginning stuff so we get to real, you know, meat of what we're looking to talk about. I see some comments coming in, but it's hard as hell to see with the, with the sun out there. And phone calls coming in same time. But I guess, whatever. All right, so six-week weight loss transformation challenge finale party. International summer theme party. It's a whole weekend stretch. Time to get your freak on. Trim off that last bit of weight in this final week. You're going to show up to that new and improved freaking body and share your country pride in your summer outfit, your swimsuit, your country's flag, whatever you have, whatever kind of summer gear you have, you know, for showing your country's pride or whatever, from wherever you're from. Because we have people in, in Peak Physique from all over the freaking globe and all over the freaking solar system. So there's not much time left to get your final weigh-ins. You know, the location's at the gym. We're going to be at the gym, 2.15 p.m. this Saturday, June 17th. Your, uh, your final official weigh-ins will be at this party. It's a summer party, so obviously you should be wearing your summer, summer gear anyway, but you there's going to be all kinds of you know reasons to have your swimsuits also so bring your bathing suit if you want to there's going to be plenty of chance to uh to get wet in that summer party plus you want to have the least amount of clothing possible for your final weigh-in so 
last last challenge some people were in there getting buck naked trying to just get every ounce off that they can for the final weigh-in there'll be tons of crazy food drinks music all kinds of craziness if you want you can bring some there's gonna be a contest for a home cooked ethnic meal from your country whoever can cook the best healthy or at least semi-healthy home cooked meal or, or just fucking lie and say you made it and bring it in from some restaurant or something whatever you can also bring your favorite adult beverage from your country whatever kind of crazy shit they drink I wonder what the Russians are going to bring. Probably some freaking raw homemade vodka or some shit. So all members of the gym and the members of the Six Week Challenge are invited. Bring your guests, bring your friends, your family, your neighbors, your freaking pets. Bring whoever who the hell you want. Just let me know and confirm how many are coming so we can get a good idea of how many people are going to be coming. So you can call, email, or text us that. Just let us know. There's going to be prizes. There's going to be winners for the highest percentage of body weight loss and the greatest visual transformation. Tons of prizes, contests going on the whole day, the whole party, crazy party. As you know, there's always going to be more, more, you know, involved in it, over the top fucking craziness, contests, surprises that you can always come to expect from Peak Physique Freak parties. What are you doing, boy? You coming from a workout? We just finished a workout out here in like 95 degrees. He was out here in the sun working out with me for like a good hour. So if you're in the six week challenge and you haven't already, Set up your training program beyond the six weeks. You need to speak to either me or Eva or Eliana. We will get you set up for the program going beyond the six weeks. Because you know that the six weeks is just the beginning. Obviously, you got crazy, ridiculous results most likely. But it's just the building the foundation. You know, the setting up the kickstart. You need to get set up on the continuous program, full program beyond the six weeks. You can talk to us about that if you haven't done it already. Most of you have already done it. But some of you probably haven't already. If you need to sit down and talk with us to break it down for you a little more, just let me know. And we'll hook you up. All right, so the next thing is the orientation. That's on this Sunday. As you know, the 28-day Body Transformation Challenges starts Monday, June 19th. So we have scheduled orientation for Sunday, June 18th at 1045. And after we scheduled it, we were calling up some of the people that are in the challenge and telling them about it. And they're like, you know, it's Father's Day, right? So I was like, oh, fuck. But whatever, we're still going to do it. How many of you show up? Then you can show up. We're going to hook you up. It's going to be your orientation, your initial weigh-ins, your pictures, a lot of stuff but also a seminar on, how, seminar on how to eat for weight loss. So you know what, if, if, you, if you, it's Father's Day, bring your father with you. So if you bring your father, they can even join the challenge. They probably wanna join the challenge for, and they can even join for 50% off if you bring them into that orientation that day. And now that, that's a fucking kiss at, kick-ass Father's Day gift. First, first you bring them to a seminar on how to eat for weight loss. You have to meet a bunch of freaking cool freaks over in the gym. They're gonna learn a ton of great information that's gonna help them with the rest of their life. We're going to have tons of healthy little snacks and samples and stuff there for you to eat. And they're going to get 50% off the most amazing transformation contest and boot camp boxing program in Rockland County. So he'll probably be so motivated, he'll say, fuck the pancakes we were planning to go eat after. I need to get my shit together. I need to start getting ready for this consultation. Boy, you didn't hear that. Go. Hi. So next is... A tr- trainer, new thing we're doing with, with between the trainers. Can I help you people? Can I help you people? I'm going to get a pellet gun in a second. I will shoot you in the ass. So anyway. Before we were interrupted, thought the invasion was coming. People creeping up behind me from the woods and shit. Anyway, we're starting a new trainer transformation contest. All the trainers and staff are, that are always with you guys every step of the way in your weight loss and fitness journey. But now we're going to take that a step further. I kind of threw the idea out to the trainers. They all, of course, they all took me up to the task and they loved it. They said it's awesome. They're all in for it. So I've taken them to task in doing their own mini 28-day transformation challenge amongst themselves but at the same time, along with you guys. So a little friendly competition, let them take their game to the next level. You know, this, this, they will be in the trenches with you this time more than ever actually doing their own challenge. People usually think trainers are just fucking born fit or we can eat whatever the hell we want, but that's just, that is far from the truth. We all go through our own struggles just like every one of you. We all hit roadblocks and face challenges that life throws some fucked up shit at us that we need to over, you know, we need to overcome adversity too. So, We've, we also have such a ridiculous amount of pressure to be a walking example of what, what you, we expect, you know, what you expect from us. So we need to set the bar high for ourselves. We want to be, you know, what we're telling you to do, we want to sh- lead by example pretty much. So 
we need to set the bar high to try and show you how it's done. So any little speed bump in the road that we might come across will, will feel freaking catastrophic to us because we know that, you know, all eyes are on us, that we are the leaders. We are the, you know, leaders of the industry. So we sometimes feel like maybe we're letting you guys down. So we expect so much out of ourselves that sometimes we think we're not even human. I mean, maybe some of us are not really, but whatever. I use the word human lightly, but we at least have some human attributes. We can also easily get caught up in making sure that everyone, everyone around us is doing what they're supposed to be doing and it steers us off course from what we need to be doing ourselves. So, you know, we don't hesitate to selflessly, selflessly put other people first, sometimes to our own demise, bringing ourselves down while we're trying to help out and save the, save the, save the fucking world. I covered this topic a couple of weeks ago about making yourself your number one client, your number one priority without, you know, without having your own shit in order. How can you expect to lead and help others to get to where they need to be if you're not a leading, if you're not leading by example and showing them the way and doing it yourself? So I always put a tremendous amount of pressure on myself to perform at optimal levels, to operate at the highest fucking standards as to what I expect from all of you. So this needs to be the case, especially when no one around you is watching. That's, that's when it really matters. It's easy to do the right thing when you're being watched or you're even with the trainers, but we all need to create discipline and practice the discipline and master the fucking discipline that when no one is there to see the truth. So basically, don't, don't be a fucking punk and cheat or slack just because no one is watching. Your mind is watching. Your, your fucking future self is watching. Your, the scale that you're going to step on next week, that scale is fucking watching you when you're sitting there by yourself. So keep that in mind. When you're all alone and no one's watching, there's things out there is watching, things a little more powerful than just your fucking trainers. Your future is fucking watching. So, so anyway, to keep the trainers focused, to ensure they keep up their own health and fitness as a priority and don't forget to take care of, you know, and, and put themselves first sometimes, they will have their own mini transformation challenge. I, you know, I'm fucking excited to see them all step up their game and show us even more what they're capable of. This is going to be freaking awesome. Keep seeing some things pop up here. I don't know if there's any questions on there. Can't see. Yes, you know, it's Father's Day. They told me that. I, we were on like the 25th call of people signing up for that challenge. I'm just reading the comments there. And someone said, you know, it's Father's Day, right? And I said, oh, fuck. I don't know if I said, oh, fuck. I might have said it in my head. I might have said it out loud. I don't even remember. Anyway, the trainers in this transform transformation contest between them, they will be posting their progress pics, their meals, their results right alongside you. So you, you see us training alongside you in the gym sometimes, in the trenches, in the sessions sometimes with you, working out with you while the other trainers are training the class, whooping our ass. But now we're taking that a step further. There's also going to be prizes for the Trainer Transformation Contest in those 28 days, just like you guys are having. So it's going to be awesome just to see them having a little competition between themselves, see how, how, how far they could take their game, how far can they peak. So speaking of us trainers and our struggles, here's kind of what I really want to talk about today is I want to share with you some of my struggles or my number one struggle in the gym, but really in life. It's sometimes something that can cause your downfall or anyone's downfall and it causes a lot of people's downfall but I take it and I use it as a superpower so let's play our game that we had so much fucking fun with last week can anyone tell me the one single word that is my biggest struggle in life see if anyone can come up with the word of what my biggest struggle one single word free t-shirt camo t-shirt someone that sees a word I gotta try and see this screen if anyone can tell me what the single one single word which is my own personal struggle if you could figure that out but I guarantee it's a lot of your own personal struggle in, in many different ways in life and many different examples. I'm going to give you a, a ton of examples how it's a struggle for me. And I'm going to go through them and I'm going to tell you how I overcome all the adversity in every one of those, in one of those uh, scenarios. So can anyone tell me the one word? Smiling. That's a damn good one. You deserve a t-shirt just for that. That's a good one. But no, that is a struggle for me. But I was born without the facial musculature to smile. So it just doesn't happen. It's impossible to happen. But something even further than that, further than smiling. What else we have? Biggest struggle, love, no. What is that? Anyone else? Anyone else can give me the one single word. We got a camo t-shirt. Pick your design of a camo t-shirt for the first person to give me that word. I'll give you, I'll start talking about it a little more and maybe I'll give you a little more hints. Like last week I had to pretty much fucking spell out the entire word for you before someone got it. But anyway, I don't sleep much, right? Probably one of the biggest things I need to work on in my overall long-term health plan is sleep. But it, it's freaking hard to sleep when you have such a passion and, and enthusiasm for what you do. So I was sitting outside of my cave late last night thinking in my head, what am I gonna talk about tomorrow on this Facebook Live broadcast? It's stirring in my fucking head. You know, I always wanna make sure I bring you guys useful, beneficial, immediately implement, 
adaptable, if that's even a fucking word, I don't care, implementable information, usable information, you know, and I always fear letting you guys down. I fear letting you guys down in my live videos. I fear letting you down in your training sessions and solving all your problems and helping you change your lives. So does anyone have what that word is? No one can guess the word. No one wants a free freaking t-shirt. No one's got it yet. So like I said earlier, when we were talking about the trainer transformation contest, I put such an immense pressure on myself to bring you guys the absolute fucking best quality, best experience leading to the best results that that kind of leads what the word is. Does anyone know what that word is yet? Someone's calling in. Maybe someone's calling in from Florida. Maybe they know the word. Well, I guess I'm mailing a t-shirt out to Pennsylvania because Zubak has got the word. Anxiety. He's got the fucking word. He must have hacked my shit. But he got the word. Anxiety is the word of the freaking week. Last week was persistence, which was the number one thing you needed to get to the best shape of your life was persistence and to reach all your goals in health and fitness and business and professional and everything. This week, the word is anxiety. The biggest thing that I struggle with some, this is some secret stuff I've never spoken about before, but I'm going to speak about it today. But I'm also going to let you know how I, use, how I overcome it and use it to my advantage. So I live in anxiety all the time, all day, every fucking day. If, if all these prescription drugs were around when I was a kid, I'm sure they would have pumped me so full of that shit. I would have been a walking zombie. But I wouldn't want that anyway. I don't want that now because then I wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be this freak bouncing around in like 100 degree weather talking to you about this shit. So I had this extreme anxiety last night. What am I going to talk about on this Facebook live broadcast tomorrow. I sat there for over two hours. It's like two in the freaking morning with this anxiety. Then it hit me. What am I going to talk about? I'm going to talk about, I had anxiety about what I was going to talk about. And I came up with to talk about anxiety. And so I wake up in the morning, you know, I wake up in the morning. If I even slept, I don't even know if I slept at all. And I have this anxiety that I didn't get up. You know, these are different things I have anxiety about. I'm going to go through it. So when I wake up in the morning, I think, did I get up early enough? I have anxiety. Then I have anxiety that I won't fit in anywhere I go that day. Like I have my, like I felt like my entire life. Then I have anxiety when I'm training you peak freaks at the gym. Will this session live up to their expectations? Will it get them to where they need to be? Then I have anxiety when you freaks are training in the other sessions that I'm not training. Have I properly put all the correct pieces into place to service you and to move you one step closer to your results? Then I have anxiety before every one of these Facebook live broadcasts. Will I provide valuable information and tools to help you to, you know, to lead you, my people from the front. Then I have anxiety in every meeting, every conversation, every phone call. Will I know what the fuck I'm talking about? Will I, will I even have a clue what I'm talking about? Will I make a fool of myself? I have anxiety about that. Then I have anxiety about when hanging out with my freak, freak little monster kids. Am I doing enough with them? Am I, am I teaching them right? Then I have anxiety when I speak in front of large groups of people. I even have anxiety when I go out to get the motherfucking mail from the mailbox. You know, what if the invasion happens right now while I'm walking out there? So... So now, can you tell me the solution to every single one of these potentially life-altering and changing scenarios? Again, it's one word. This is what I do to overcome every single one of these, and this is what gives me my fucking superpower. Can anyone tell me what the one word is? Zubac Fit Pro, don't say anything if you think you know it, or whatever, say it. Fuck it, I'll send you two t-shirts. Anyone know what the one word is that I use to overcome every single one of these these scenarios of anxiety that I have on, on a daily basis. I mean, I'm talking about 24 hours a day. I live in anxiety and I overcome it with one thing, one word. Anyone, anyone know the word? Come up with something. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds while I take a drink because it's freaking hot as hell out here. Drink my Herbalife. Hydration. Meditation, No. Not meditation, definitely not meditation. Although I do do some forms of that, it is not meditation. Steve Owen, by the way, was our client of the month last month. Anyone have the answer? Visualization? No. No. You two more seconds. I'm gonna take one more freaking sip just because we need to stay hydrated because it's freaking hot as fuck out here.